As the Sky Raiders moved in, we could see that their bombs were falling very close indeed to the South Vietnamese positions. And after two runs, it became obvious that the Sky Raiders had picked the wrong target and were bombing their own positions. In the distance, we could see South Vietnamese troops frantically scrambling across the highway for safety. As we watched, they gestured to a group of civilians to join them. It was then that the Sky Raider made the third run, and it dropped four canisters of napalm on those civilians and troops. After a few moments, a group of we pressmen who'd been watching moved cautiously down the road into the smoke. The sights which greeted us were awful. Almost the first person we saw was a little girl aged about nine running up the road. She hadn't got any clothes on, she'd presumably torn them off when they caught fire. There's not a great deal that you can do for someone suffering from a napalm burn. But I was told once by a surgeon that one thing you can do is to try to lower the surface temperature of the burn by pouring on water. So we emptied our water bottles on the girl. Other children, and other civilians for that matter, hadn't been so lucky.